This group of researchers is about to travel back in time, way back. The science is called paleotempestology, or the study of past tropical cyclone activity, in a tidal lagoon in southwest Florida. They're driving down several meters to discover hidden, unwritten hurricane history. If you want to understand what hurricanes are doing before humans were collecting data on them, um, the only way to really do it is by looking at the geologic record. And we core those sites and take long sediment cores. And often um, they'll have hurricane layers. We refer to them as tempestites. Um, and they indicate when hurricanes have made landfall in, in the past. Storms with a strong enough storm surge, like Hurricane Ian, push marine sediment from the Gulf all the way over the barrier islands and drop it off in the lagoon. And there it stays, settling in layers. Core samples are collected, labeled, and taken to the lab for analysis. Darker sediment layers represent organic-rich lagoon sediment. But the layers deposited by past hurricanes have a much different look. And so you'll see kind of a uh a darker lagoonal sediment and then the hurricane layer will appear quite bright in color. It'll be kind of carbonate and silicate so it'll look white or yellow. It'll look like the sand that you see at the beach. One layer that shows up in nearly every core sample taken around the region came from a powerful hurricane many Floridians remember. So you can see it's very light in color. Um, this is mostly silicate and carbonate sand. And then this is the lagoonal sediment. And then this layer down here is Hurricane Donna. So this was a, the storm that occurred in 1960. But what's really fascinating to me is that in all of our cores in Southwest Florida, Donna is actually thicker um, than Ian, um, which might indicate that there was more energy in the water column. Dr. Muller's team has gathered sediment core samples as ancient as 2,000 years old, showing evidence of hurricanes that happened around the time of Jesus. But most samples go back about half that time. All of them help in identifying climate trends. We tend to see periods of activity and inactivity, so periods where we see a lot more hurricane layers and then periods where we see fewer. Um, so that's another piece of the puzzle is trying to determine what was the climatology like during those historic time periods. And hopefully use this historic data to help determine what our climate may be like in the future.